we all like to play arcade games back in the day, whether it be from Galaga to King of Fighters, it's always fun to go to your local bar or Dave and Buster's to relive the glory days. I mean, what's more fun than playing with other people? That's the whole point of a game, right? But nowadays, it's pretty rare to find those classic arcade games roaming around still, unless you consider blown up Android games on the big screen your thing. What if there was a way that we could play them on chat rooms, lobbies, and easily load them up whenever we want? How about we take those same arcade games and play them online with friends? Well join me today as we take a look at a neat service that can do just that called Fightcade. So basically, Fightcade is a program and service that allows you to play classic arcade games online using its own emulator, whether it be from classic Neo Geo games like Metal Slug to newer games like King of Fighters. As long as you have the ROMs to do so, you can be able to log into chat rooms and be able to play the different games on an online space. It's a simple process of registering and dragging the right files into the right locations. Luckily though, the community is a big online space, so if you ever do get stuck, someone will bound to know the answer. And it's pretty much a process of just dragging the right files into the right locations, so this won't take a long time. So in order to get started, we'll visit the main Fightcade website. Scroll down to register and come up with a username, password, and email. Make note of these as you'll need to log in to Fightcade with them. Once you do that, below just click on the operating system you have and a zip file will start downloading. Then click on it to unzip it into another folder like so. Then once you've registered your account from your email, we can load up Fightcade. But before we actually do that, we need to get the games that we want to play. Luckily this site also has a list of games that are supported in the client itself, but unlike ROM files that go with standard emulators like for the SNES or the N64, these are strictly made for arcade games. So these types of ROMs require you to google them by file name above the screenshots here. Luckily there are plenty of locations to get these ROMs that you can google of course. Hey I'm not breaking the law here, but once you have the game ROMs of your choice, we'll also need the BIOS files that you'll need to run them, which you can download in my maximum tips pack below. Once we have them, we're going to put them in the correct folder so Fightcade can recognize them. Simply open the Fightcade folder we unzipped earlier, ROMs, then drag all our zip files that we have into the folder. And that's it. Open the fightcade.exe file and log in. And now Fightcade has a list of playable games at our disposal. It's pretty easy to understand the interface of Fightcade. You have your list of games, or rooms, that you can choose to enter. Note that if a game is highlighted white, that means it's playable. If it's grayed out, you don't have the game. The lobby, which shows the chat and other information, and the people who are in the same room that you're in. To play any of the games you have, simply go to the game of your choice, and in the bottom text chat, type slash play, and hit enter. Note that if you also hit slash F, you can see a list of commands. The game should load now in the emulator, and you can finally play those games as you did in those arcades so many years ago. But before we go, maybe we should configure our controllers first. Under Game in the emulator window, go to Map Game Inputs, and a window should pop up showing the mappings of the different buttons. Below there, there will be three drop-down menus. Since I have a default 360 controller in hand, I am going to select Player 1, joystick 0, and normal. Then make default. These buttons should automatically be set to the proper buttons. I'm using the default Xbox 360 controller of course, but if you are uncomfortable with these layouts you can always change them manually in this screen. But what are you waiting for dudes? Go out there and buy some fools at KOF and relive your shotgun wielding skills from back in the day. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Check out my other gaming related videos as well as well as my last video on how to stream PC games. See you next time.